the men's wrestling team continues to climb the NAIA ladder early in their season. Following some success at the Coe College Invitational, SAU's Cameron Giampaolo caught up with the three Fighting B finalists of the tournament. On the corner of Western Avenue and Central Park Avenue, the men's wrestling squad is back to work. Last weekend, three wrestlers, Daniel Taranas, Jaden Taranas, and Thade Gottschalk, placed second in their prospective weight classes at the Co-Invitational. Had a major decision in my first match, two pins to make the finals, and obviously the finals didn't go like we'd want to, but uh, it was cool having two of my teammates in the finals. For Jaden in the 165 pound weight class, a huge 13 to four decision and two quick pins netted him a second place finish at the tournament. Daniel Taranez also recorded a second place finish, falling to his opponent by only one point. And then right after, Jaden goes out and gets the pin, which is awesome. It was just a super, super hype moment. And then right after that, uh, our buddy Thade, he also got the pin to get into the final. So it was just a cool moment where we all went back to back to back, right in a row, all got the dubs, and it was just a fun day. As for Gottschalk, time off the mat was no match for his determination. Head coach Bo Bettinson says his progression is apparent. Thade, I mean, he's he's hasn't been on the mat for like three years. So then him getting... You could see him starting to figure it out as he's wrestling, and the, it started kind of coming together. So it's, it's cool to see his progression. And with little more than 24 hours rest, the men are already back on the road to Grand Rapids for their next meet. Cameron Giampaolo, Dateline, SAU. Thanks, Cameron. The Bees will take the mat this weekend at the Blith Memorial Duels in Grand Rapids, Michigan.